Hi, I'm Asen Ivanov. I'm Program Director for MSC Behavioral Finance here at Queen Mary. Uh, let me briefly tell you about this program. So, uh, mainstream economics make some uh, strong assumptions about human rationality. Uh, decision makers in uh, mainstream models are uh, like robots and uh, uh, we call them econs. In mainstream finance models, it's econs who make important decisions about how much to save, uh, about how to save, whether in stocks or bonds or real estate. Um, there's also the efficient market hypothesis, which is uh, very influential in uh, mainstream finance. Now, there's uh, a lot of evidence that humans uh, violate the mainstream assumptions. For example, they make mistakes when saving uh, or investing. So here in the picture you see a human. And uh, the efficient market hypothesis is uh, hotly debated. So behavioral economics uh, studies violations of uh, mainstream assumptions and uh, it proposes uh, psychologically plausible theories to explain these violations. Behavioral finance is the largest subfield of behavioral economics. It studies mistakes that people make in saving and investment decisions, as well as important puzzles on financial markets. Uh, behavioral finance also uses insights from behavioral economics to explain these mistakes and puzzles. Let me tell you a little bit about the program structure. Uh, the key modules that distinguish this program are behavioral economics and behavioral finance. In addition, you also uh, receive extensive training in mainstream finance. Uh, a key feature of this program is that it's meant to have a small number of students, so approximately 10 to 25 students. We encourage applications from strong students from many different backgrounds, for example from economics or finance, uh, maths, sciences, engineering, psychology, accounting, business and management and so forth. Uh, why would uh, somebody want to do an MSc in Behavioral Finance? Uh, well, first, uh, Behavioral Finance is not better than Mainstream Finance, but the combination Mainstream Finance and Behavioral Finance uh, probably gives a deeper understanding of uh, financial markets. Uh, also, you will learn to uh, avoid mistakes in financial decision making, so you will avoid uh, being like this uh, person here in this picture. A uh, brief warning, uh, this program will not teach you how to beat the market and get rich, so if you want to do that, you uh, need to win the lottery. Uh, you also learn to design government policies that uh, use behavioral insights for greater effectiveness and uh, uh, also help people avoid mistakes. Uh, behavioral economics and behavioral finance are relatively young fields, but they're well respected in academia. For example, the Nobel Prize in Economic Sciences was awarded to eminent proponents of these fields, to Daniel Kahneman in 2002, to Robert Schiller in 2013, and to Richard Thaler in 2017. Uh, and again, another warning, the field is not uncontroversial. Uh, for example, Nobel Prize winner Eugene Farmer is very skeptical. Uh, the field is uh, fortunately well respected by governments. Uh, for example, in 2010, David Cameron appointed a behavioral insights team inside the UK government, and there are similar units in other countries. Regarding the job market, as you all know, it's very competitive. Uh, there are plenty of students with mainstream finance MSCs. Uh, in addition to training in mainstream finance, you can uh, offer something different. So hopefully you will be like uh, this little bear in the middle of the picture. Potential jobs are in uh, banking, investment, government, marketing and uh, many other areas. I hope you apply and I hope to see you in September.